Welcome back to more Farm of Shadow Dragons. So last time we beat the prologue. Um, we have to sacrifice one of our units to escape, but yeah, it is the only way out. Um, and now, yeah, um, we're going to be starting chapter one. And yeah, the game's going to be pointing out what has um, occurred since Marth decided to leave his homeland. So yeah, let's move out now. Marth and Box, Chapter 1, The Isle of Talus. Marth, Prince of Altair, was lucky. Though Dola took from him his kingdom and all but a handful of knights, they could not take his life. Marth lived and made it to the eastern Isle of Talus. Talos is a small border kingdom with no grand order of knights to boast of, but its king selflessly gave Marth use of the Isle's eastern fortress, and as he saw the boy shake with anger and grief, he also gave wise counsel. Prince Marth, he said, I do not doubt you love your sister something great. They must be patient, time is on your side. If you stay here and grow stronger, a time will come and you can help them. So Marth, so Marth stayed at Tars, protected by his kind people in the years went by. Until now. <laughs> because we've got a pirate problem now. And the village is gone, but we can't do anything about that. And here's one of the more important side characters in this game, Princess Sheeta. Sorry, you're, you've a visitor from the castle, it's Princess Sheeta. Also, Marth has a new portrait because he's a bit older now. Sheeta, what is it? You look quiet as a sheep. Marth, come quickly, it's the castle. Goldus pirates attacked from out of nowhere. They stormed the gates and cut down everyone in, the, everyone in their path. I fear for my, for my father's life. Steady, Sheeta, you did well to come to find us. Our tears, bravest knights, aren't about to hand Talus to that fuck of sea fowl. Come, we'll make for the castle now. Let's do it. So. If this is like FE1 or FE3 book 1, I had to talk about all the units, but we've actually already talked about them in good enough detail, I feel like. They're pretty similar throughout, it's just that, yeah, like, now it's the base game, Marth might have like a heart attack in kills, it might be a similar thing for the units. We do have two new units to talk about, Drog and Sheeta, so let's talk about Drog first, I guess. So, Drog is your armor knight. Um, Good base defense, although that's mostly coming from his class. So on this map, he doesn't really take any damage, which is good. Um, although, yeah, he won't be killing them, which is good, actually, in its own right. Unless you want to get kills on him, then it's a bit annoying. But it does mean that Drog is excellent at luring these enemies in, so that we can try to get kills in other units. And yeah, that's what he's mainly good for in the early game. Uh, if you do train him up, he could be able to tank enemies, although he doesn't have the best defense growth in the, in the world. Again, most of his defense is actually come from his class, which is funny, but yeah. And yeah, you're gonna have better answers for high defense, I feel like. That's why I feel like Drog is good in the other game, but he can't fall off. Especially because yeah, he does have trouble getting kills because he is a little bit on the slow side, although he isn't super slow despite being a armor knight. Because that's another weird thing about his personal stats. But anyway, I guess we can talk about his graphics now. Um, he has 60% HP, 20 strength, 0 magic, 40 skill, 40 speed, 30 luck, 30 defense, and 0 res. Yeah, if you read class him, his stats get a little bit weird. Like, he gets like a 0% defense growth in most other classes, which is actually kind of funny. And yeah, that also means that yeah, most of his base defense is going to go away. So yeah, he's a very, very strange unit, especially when recloss. And yeah, on his own, he's like, okay, he'll do alright. But yeah, I think he just shines in the early game at tanking enemies, and then you can just bench him and then replace him later. And yeah, let's talk about Shida now. Shida is, um, amazing. <laughs> let's just say. There's one very good reason why, and it's a weapon. But outside that though, Sheeta is very very fast, she'll double most enemies, um, and the side effect that she has low strength, it is heavily made up by the weapon. Wing Spear. This is a lance with 8 might, 90 hit, and 10 crit, 
full weight, so she actually wield it without penalty at base, which is actually really cool. Um, and it's strong against cavalry and armored units. So yeah. Um, remember when I said that the rapier can do something similar? Well, this is even better. It's a lance, and it's on a unit with who's really fast and double everything. But there's another very good use of the wings, too, which I'll show off later as well. Another thing that makes Sheeta so good is not only is she fast, but also her class is really good too. Um, because, yeah, uh, not only she does have that low strength, yes, but her promo gains are really good. And her promotion basically kind of fixes some of her issues. And even her base, that's a really good trend. Like, yeah, she does have low strength, and her strength growth is very good. But yeah, again, if you get to promotion, that's not more. Fun. And yeah, early promoting her is definitely the way to go considering how she grows. So let's talk about those growth rates now. 40% HP, 20 strength, 0 magic, 60 skill, 85 speed, 70 luck, 10 defense, and 0 res. So yeah, there you go. She is kind of frail though, only 10% defense growth, but again, um, a promotion fixes her. So yeah. Let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna give an iron lens to her because yeah, we want to conserve the wind spell. Even though, yeah, if you do use it, you can one round, but she one rounds to the islands anyway. And yeah, it's very important that we use Sheeta in this game, because yeah, she's going to make her life a lot easier with the wingspace, so yeah. And she has level 1, so yeah, she gets a decent amount. We'll have Drog get in there. We're going to have Moth visit this village at the very start. Again, only Moth can visit the village, so yeah, remember that. Prince Moth, tis good you stop by. Villagers have collected 10,000 gold pieces. If it pleases you, use the might to arm your warriors and rid our land of those pirates. There we go. Um, I'll have Jacob go into the armory. I'm gonna buy a javelin, maybe two javelins. I think we're pretty good on iron lances, but I'm gonna buy one extra, I think. And that should be good. Because yeah, Sheeta can use the javelin, which is pretty cool. Um, I think we are pretty good on that spear. We can visit these if we want. A knight belongs on the front lines if you ask me. That thick armor can take a lot of these, so they should be up front protecting the other units. There you go. We'll get Evil in there. Who is actually kind of close to um, a weapon rank increase, so that's nice. But yeah, these guys don't really damage draw, which is nice. And there we go. He's also not a bad person to put on that fort because their enemy is coming from above, so yeah. He does have low movement though, obviously, so yeah. Alright, what are we gonna do? So yeah, I guess she can kill this. Uh, yeah, she can, but yeah. Again, she does have the best bulk in the world. But she does, very nice. So yeah, there we go, that's another kill for her. Now we've got this dude, who I think we can one round with evil. Um, I might use the Sorter actually. Let me see. We actually don't have them. So we're gonna need to draw us up. But yeah, with the Iron Lance you do kill, but we can also use Gordon. Because Gordon uh, doesn't do damage. <laughs> or he can chip them even further, so yeah. Let me have a look. The Iron Sword doesn't kill, Iron does kill, and the accuracy isn't too bad, so we go for it. And there we go. Very, very nice. So, yeah. Things are going pretty good. Um, we're gonna go with Iron Sword for the time being. But yeah, we can get a job the next turn. I'm not really planning on using Kane, so yeah, we don't need to worry about his inventory too much. This one goes for Evil. Which isn't too bad. Yeah, these guys are definitely a step above the enemies in the prologue, that's what I'm sure. Okay, so these dudes, they're gonna be in a turn, so we might want to use. Uh, could be a little risky that. There is also a hunter too, you might want to be a little careful on this one. How much damage does Gordon do on Hunter? He can actually do a KO, which is nice. Moth can double, which is good. I'll go for it. There you go. 
We should use Jake and her a little bit as well. Um, yeah, I think in this situation it's going to be Jake and time. So I'll put him in the forest. Um, we'll go for this. Doesn't kill, unfortunately. Um, Jorok still doesn't take that much damage, so yeah, I might as well do this. There we go. Again, we can put him on the floor if we want, but we can also put like another unit on the but Yeah, I think it's going to be evil. He's going to pick up another kill. He also doesn't really take that much. He only takes three, so yeah, he's pretty good, actually. And there we go, more strength, very nice. So you can use the Iron Sword if you really want. Um, I might put the chicken up there. These two are fine, I think. So yeah, they don't take that much, so... Yeah, but chicken up there. I'll have Kane as well. Virgins. I hate you a high weapon level to live the strongest weapons. No, I think keep a fly as well away from those enemy archers. Very good tips. Yeah, like for example, Chicken has a Silver Lance, but yeah, my units can't really use them. Even Sheeta. Sheeta used to be able to use the Silver Lance at base because of her weapon of a stat. That was something that if you want to free her. It's basically a stat that levels up like, you know, your strip and speed. But yeah, the higher it is, the higher tier weapons you can use. And yeah, Evil's doing very nice for us. You could even go on the fort sub too. There's a um, hunter coming towards us. This is like an archer, but it has one extra movement and it's much better crystal. So, yeah. Um, can't help positive, but anyway. I guess we'll use Moth again. There we go. No problem. So, yeah, like I said, can. I think we can also, like, pull them off too, like, by doing something like this. Accuracy does go down because they're in, um,. A face of turning, but that's okay. But yeah, maybe we want to mark these two. I guess yeah, another thing I can do, I can also move in people here. I can now use the sword because of two and kills, because of the strength level I've got. And it's a bit more accurate. Now only one dude left. So yeah, it might be good this time to shot. These steel bow. Because, yeah. I don't know how I feel about putting sheet on range. I think it would have been fine, but. Uh, yeah, you're in range of the hunter. So, yeah, we're gonna have to use Sheeta later. I think we could keep Shaker though. And then King can shut this up. Villagers will keep their gates open for Prince Moth. But you must be quick. If a thief reaches the virtual the prince does, there may not be any virtual up to us. Yeah, we kind of saw that earlier. <laughs> Same more gameplay tips there. But yeah, she didn't actually kill the hunter. If you really want. But yeah, again, evil's doing an extremely good. <laughs> you probably pick up that kill. And there he goes. So yeah, well done. Alright, so him, she does double it, um, but yeah, she's getting a little more help. Luckily, Moth could be the help, because he doesn't double. Good, good. I'm gonna go find Lance. Hopefully this will be enough. But yeah, also this game uses 2RN for its RNG, like most foreign games during this time, so yeah. Anyway, she does level up. Speed unlock, yeah, she's gonna level that up most of the time, so yeah. <laughs> We're gonna give her a javelin. Because it's gonna be useful coming up. Yeah, that guy can reach the fort. So yeah. That'd be good for Abel, but yeah, we can also use Jacob as well. With the iron sword, so I'm gonna do just that. Girl has used Moth as well, but that's okay. I'm gonna see if we can get this kill and maybe she will see. But yeah, not much to say. This is a very basic map. It's been in a lot of foreign games. It was in Awakening too, because of the DLC, so yeah. I remember playing that map. <laughs> it's one of the easiest DLC maps in the game, so yeah. And there we go, Jake. Good job. 
that guy's blocking the bush. Oh yeah, he's not gonna destroy it though, even though technically, yeah, pirates are known for doing that in a lot of fragments. But yeah, we can go for the one shot now. Because I didn't notice the damage. <laughs> there we go, C rank. Very nice. So yeah. Um There is this dude too that may be like that. Luckily for us the boss doesn't move. That would be Gazak. I did mention Gazak in MP4 because yeah, he's one of the arena opponents in that game, so yeah. Yeah, Master's double, so I mean another thing they can do is I can chuck jump into the actually is bad, but um yeah. It's a little bit chip. Now Moth can get the kill. Um he doesn't die in two hits, which is important because yeah, that other part could go for him. There we go. Although he might actually go for Sheeta because she does less defense. Anyway, HP. <laughs> Good. Um he actually had the same defense, but yeah, Sheeta does have a not great up but I'll probably just get block her off anyway. There you go. I guess I'll put you here. There are actually some more, bunch, more houses down there, which you can talk to so yeah. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, he does go with Sheeta. That's not too bad. The hit rate's not very good, but oh. Uh, yeah, we could get the cover with Sheeta from everyone. Which, um, I might do. Because yeah, we don't die, so yeah. Gonna have to go for it. I think supports are in this game. There aren't any support conversations though, so yeah. I kind of don't remember how they work to be honest. It's kind of one of those things that I haven't looked into very well that well. Golda, that's the harbor town west the Talus, out beyond the water. These days, a pirate by the name of Goma calls the shots there. The whole town is at the mercy of his crew. There we go. Let's go here. A man of the stop by the name of Riss lives in the village south of the castle. He is hoping to meet your prince. Well, let's do it. I am Riss, humble curate. I cannot fight, but the stop I carry can heal your wound. Take me with you, and you'll be very glad you did. Yup. <laughs> this is Riss. Uh, he's like a Hulk game healer. His base stats aren't very good. His upper X not very good. His growth rates aren't very good. All he does is heal. <laughs> in the early game. Which, yeah, no problem with that. The only problem is, is that, yeah, we do get a healer that has an already good starting star rank, so yeah. He's not really needed outside the early game, but hey, if you like him, he can do star things as long as you just keep using him, so yeah. C-Rank is the big one. C-Rank allows you to use Warp, and Warp is uh, very good in this game, so yeah. That's what you want to try and aim for, Chris. So, like, promoting him early so he can go into Bishop, so he can get the star rank, is a good idea. Um, Oh yeah, the problem is that he only is level 1, so he needs 9 levels to get to promotion. And there's a lot of other units you could just either use warp at base. Well yeah, that's the main thing. Units can use warp at base. There's quite a few of them too, so yeah, that's why Riss isn't really a good long-term unit. But in the short term, he's our only unit that can heal. Although, be wary, you can't buy heal stuffs early on, so do not spam this heal stuff too much. So yeah, just be a little careful. But anyway, let's talk about his growth rates. Like I said, I don't think they're very good, but um, he has 20 HP, 0 strength, 20 magic, 20 skill, 20 speed, fully luck, 0 defense, and fully 5 runs. So yeah, they're not very good. But hey, you can heal, so uh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, not very good one to me. But yeah, anyway, uh, Moss is a He's actually kind of dangerous. Um, if you try to fight him head on, because he does have a steel axe, he's kind of hard to double two because he's 8 speed. Um, he doesn't try to kill evil, but yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it's still a little bit dicey. Yeah, we can go for it. I think. The might of our tell you, you, you say now. Ha! <laughs> you you sprogs look to be a might short of, of mighty me. <laughs> yeah, I can't really see that one, right? But yeah, one good tactic for him is just to use one to range, also great level. Um, I did say not to spam that, but yeah, we're gonna use that a little bit. But yeah, using one to range, I guess, is actually very effective, because even though the accuracy is appalling, um, 
it's at least some damage, so yeah. In fact, Shaken is going to more damage straight. Like I said, it's only 50 then, but more damage is always good, so yeah. And he can't counter either, that's the main reason. I'm going like. And nice critical. Ah, you are paid dog! Because, yeah, Evil Star doubling because of his level ones, so very nice. Because he's getting played down by his Steel Axe. And there we go, we can now seize and end the map, which is exactly what I'm going to do. See, a very simple map there. Evil, again, is doing an amazing job for us. Um, yeah, that boss can be quite gnarly, especially on hard mode, so yeah. Basically, one turn is like the only good thing to do against him. That also means that Gordon is actually not bad against him because Gordon actually has the most reliable one to range for his iron bow, so yeah. Like I say, he's kind of a mean boss, but yeah, luckily though, no one to range. We won't have it so lucky for the next one, though, so yeah. Let's see his now. And here's the king. Ah, oh, Prince Marv, you have saved us in our hour of need. Please accept my thanks. Lad, I believe you are ready. If you wish to seek out allies in Morellus, I will give you what soldiers I can I can to see you arrive there safely. Captain Ogma is a fine swordsman, brave and true. I know he and his, and his fires will serve you well. Another thing, during your travels you are certain to meet many who despise Dora. Some may be hiding in villages, others may have been captured or forced to fight against their will or bear judgment. It falls upon you to find these individuals and win them over to your cause. Understand? Understood, lad? Then go, the time has come. Be patient, steady, strong. I know you will do great things. And there we go. So that was chapter one. Like I said, a very simple map, but we do get introduced some very important units. So yeah. A very, very important map because of that. So yeah. Anyways, next time on Farm Shad Dragon, it's going to be chapter two. We have a whole lot of units to talk about next time. So yeah. Look forward to that, I guess. And yeah, I'll see you guys again for that.